Carp like warm water. And today it was going to snow. But I figured with a body of water the size of Prospect Lake, it would take several days for the cold air to cool down the water. As I prepared to test out my theory, a gentleman came by to tell me that the carp wouldn't bite today because of the cold front and something about the moon phase. He told me I should come back on Tuesday when it would be a little warmer or something like that. I was having a hard time paying attention to him because I was getting a bite. I wish you would have stayed just a few minutes longer. Well, I'm still gonna try. <laughs> when my kids were young, I used to tell them, don't believe everything you hear, even if you hear it from me. And I'm gonna tell you the same thing. Take everyone's advice with a grain of salt, even mine. People have their opinions and theories, and you should listen to them all. But fish don't know anything about lunar calendars or thermal performance curves. They know about eating and breeding. I know some people like that. Anyway, it's important that you devour all the information you can about the species you're targeting. But ultimately, you have to go fish. Come up with theories of your own and go test them out. Especially when it comes to carp fishing. Here in the US, the sport is still in its infancy and our fish may not behave exactly the same as their European counterparts. I may have been right about the water temperature being relatively warm compared to the air temperature, but I couldn't stay long. My hands were numb, and I was worried about getting up my driveway if there was a blanket of snow on it. Cold weather can make the carp fishing a little tricky sometimes. But don't take my word for it. Go fish. And good luck out there.